There's a lot of human health problems that surround us. We need to develop ways to address these problems. We're adapting biology using the billions of years of evolution that nature has kind of used to make these wonderful tissue and things that exist, and then adapt them so that we can control and make new materials that are biological, that can safely interface with human tissue, and then hopefully eradicate the disease that is within the human tissue. Welcome to my office. Human health has been a challenge since humans existed, and it is a problem because oftentimes there's pain associated and there's loss of life. In my family, cancer has been a, a huge issue that has kind of addressed various family members in my life. And as I was growing up and watching like the devastation that it caused, I thought maybe I could do something. With the training that I received, I thought, okay, now I have the opportunity to address human health problems that affected my family and many, many others. So the hope is if I work on this, maybe we can, we can see something down the line. We make materials that are very, very tiny on the nanoscale, materials that can self-assemble into tiny little particles. And what we do is we engineer bacteria. So bacteria becomes our workforce that we can genetically introduce DNA that is programmed with different types of proteins and then we can have the bacteria produce those proteins. And then what we'll do is extract those proteins that the bacteria produce and look at their assembly properties and features that can interact with human tissue. And the whole idea is to utilize those particles and sheets to treat cancers, treat diabetic wounds, to treat post-traumatic osteoarthritis, to name a few of the different types of diseases that we look at. Most recently, we've been looking at breast cancer. We have made protein particles that have this shell that can recognize specifically cancer tissues. And so that helps it target to breast cancer cells and help treat the breast cancers. The other thing about biology that's so amazing is that there are all of these protein interactions that are very specific. And so we can take advantage of that and then Im implement it on our protein material system so that we can now exclusively target, for example, breast cancer. We're taking advantage of the fact that breast cancers usually have receptors on the cancerous cells. And so what we're doing is we're saying, ah, oh, we know what binds to those receptors. And we're then expressing these proteins with those protein binders so that when it's in the blood system, it can find its partner and then exclusively attack the cancers. Because the problem with traditional chemotherapeutics for treating breast cancer or any type of cancer is that it also kills healthy cells. And that's the hardest part. So to target these chemotherapeutics so that it can bind to and tackle only the cancer cells. So by taking advantage of biological interactions, we can decorate our protein materials that are particles so that can have these binders that can only capture and bind to the cancer cells so that we can selectively target them and selectively kill them. Most recently, we've developed an injectable protein hydrogel to treat post-traumatic osteoarthritis. So what it is, is it's a protein that at cold temperatures, it's a liquid, but when it hits the body, it becomes a solid. And that protein can then deliver a therapeutic, which is another protein that helps treat the disease. And so what we do is outside the body, we put it in a syringe. And then let's say you have post-traumatic osteoarthritis in your joint area, like your knee. What we do is we can inject it in the knee and then have it form a gel in that area and then have it slowly deliver the therapeutics so that we can treat the disease. So there's no invasive surgeries, there's treatment happening in that injection. And so that's the most recent thing that we have worked on. And from that, we spun out a company called Provisigen, of which is trying to bring that to market currently. People, when they're looking at therapeutics or trying to deliver, usually use non-biological systems 
And so this is a different approach where we're thinking, okay, let's take advantage of biology, utilize the benefits to help make new materials that are biological that can be used and interface with the body. Another project that we're working on has to do with wound healing. So people who have diabetes often have problems with their wounds not healing very rapidly. And oftentimes that leads to amputation. And so to prevent that, we developed this particle that can deliver siRNA, which is a silencing RNA, which is a therapeutic essentially. And what it does is we can apply it to the wound area and it will inhibit a pathway that is responsible for the slow wound healing or slow wound closure, and it will allow a wound for diabetic patients to heal rapidly. The most recent progress on that is we're now utilizing what are called exosomes in, in addition to our proteins. So the original material that we made was a protein with a lipid shell. Now we're using biologically derived cells called exosomes that we can wrap with our protein to help accelerate delivery to diabetic wounds. All of the work that we do are still in the development stage and in part because this is all very new. Most of the types of treatments do not use these types of interesting protein particles. And as we progress, we hope you know, we can bring it out to market soon. All of the research that we do in our lab is done by my students and postdocs. And for me, what's important is the diversity in thought and the diversity of people that are contributing to this work. And so it has been super important that I surround myself with students of diverse backgrounds because in order to solve these very hard problems in, in medicine, we need different perspectives. And it's been wonderful for me to have all of these diverse students and postdocs working in the lab trying to solve this common goal. So that has been super amazing and fun and super important. I think diversity is super important.